Okay, let's see if it's too loud. All right, welcome to episode one of this podcast. I'm still coming up with a name, but I will have one for you to see before you leave. Um, by the time it's up, it'll have a name. And yeah, I'm really excited about this episode. Um, I was, I've been putting off starting this for a while just because I was like, okay, I'm one person. I am still in the process of reaching my goals. What can I possibly have to share? But it's like any person, like at most points in life after having lived decades can share about their experience. Um, I'm turning 24 this year and I have a lot to say have very interesting conversations with my family, with my sisters especially. So definitely um, might as well start, start sharing now. This is a great time. Still freaking out our angles here. I'm recording on in two different places. So sorry, phone people. You might not be able to make eye contact with me all the time. But yeah, let's get into it. So this podcast is going to be um, about self-care, writing, lifestyle, friendship, and love attraction stuff. So a bunch of different topics, um, just because those things are what I focus on the most. Um, I doubt I'll be talking about other things on here, um, maybe relationships as well, but that's pretty much it. Um, and for this first podcast episode, I wanted to share about an experience I had yesterday with love attraction and getting to class on time. So and then I'll also share about a money experience I had because who doesn't want more money? <laughs> so yeah, let's start with yesterday morning. So um, no, not yesterday, Wednesday morning. So on Wednesdays this semester, I have to be up at around 7, 7.30 at the latest, and that's pushing it so that I can be out of the house by 7.45, 7.50, optimistically, and then get to class, get to campus at around 9 a.m., maybe 9.10, and I'll have plenty of time to get to my class. So the first Wednesday I had this class, um, I was late because I left the house around 8.10. And I was like, okay, this year, this semester, 2023, spring semester, we're going to start off well. I'm going to be on time. And I was on time on Monday, but on Monday, my classes start 11 so it's much easier to get there on time I only have to leave around 10 Wednesdays though I do have one class that's hybrid so that class starts at 9 30 and I was trying to avoid having a class like that again this semester because last semester I was late a bunch of times and she got on me for it and I was like oh my god no I mean I like to take my time in the mornings like I don't think there's anything wrong with that but you know this system America doesn't like that so um I set my alarm for seven o'clock but that snooze button was just so delicious you know it's like chef's kiss is just oh it's right there I still I'm tired uh I'm tired I still was up I was up late doing an assignment so I didn't get as much sleep as I would have liked didn't get my eight hours my eight beautiful hours so I kept snoozing and snoozing and snoozing and then I think I got up around 7 30 and I wanted to do my makeup did my makeup uh put on a wig and um ran into the kitchen packed some kimchi uh pajan kimchi pancakes and I ran out the door. By the time I ran out the door, it was 8, 10. And I was like, oh, crap. I'm going to be late. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my gosh. I totally ruined my plan this morning. Why did I snooze the alarm so many times? And it's like every time you snooze the alarm that many times, you ask yourself later, why did I do that? Even though you know damn well when you're doing it, you shouldn't be because you have places to be. <sighs> so I got in the car and I was like, you know what? At this point... I'm probably, I just felt like, okay, I'm probably going to be late the way I'm going. So I was like, you know what? Let me just say my, my go-to affirmation. So I have to, before I continue, give credit to Florence Govelshin. She wrote The Game of Life and How to Play It and a few other books. And um, it's basically just a book full of stories and affirmations and um, mindset. Basically, I consider them like tips and tricks because it's such a simple how-to guide for so many different situations, but a lot of these affirmations have really helped me in different points in my life. Um, and later I'll tell the story about how it helped, they helped me with money. But this affirmation basically gets you to focus on the positive. And when it comes to being on time, it seems like 
there's nothing you can do to control your situation because, you know, it's time. Like, time is moving no matter what we're doing. Um, obviously, the rate at which it's moving depends on our perception and it's a contract, blah, blah, blah. Sure. But other than that, I can't sit here and stare at the wall. Time is going to go by regardless. So a lot of times we feel like, you know, things like time are out of our control, but that's not necessarily the case. So this affirmation, I'm going to share it with you, you know, baddies don't get keep or whatever. <laughs> um, pretty girls don't get keep. Love attraction gals don't get keep. So the affirmation is always on time. That's it. Instead of being like, oh, I don't want to be late. Crap, I'm late. I don't want to be late. I wish I wasn't late. I should have gone up. All that. Always on time. That's all. And I use this in the past. Works every time. Where I'm late to work, get there, and the opener's not even there yet. Or they don't notice I'm late. Or there's a reason why I couldn't clock in. Something happens. Um, and sometimes the situation's not that great, so I try to code it with if I'm not, like, in the best vibration, like, the best energy. I'm not releasing the best energy. Like, you know, in perfect ways or in divine order. So I can just clear, like, the negative um, possible outcomes out of there. But most of the time, always on time, just works just fine on its own. So, so I kept saying always on time, always on time, always on time, always on time. In my head, just repeat, repeat, repeat. Whenever I thought, like, oh, I'm crap, I'm really late, oh, traffic, whatever. And I got on the road and there was traffic. Always on time, always on time, always on time. So let me take a look at my notes here just to make sure I'm not missing anything because you need to hear all, all of this. So before I let go completely of controlling time and controlling when I get there, because there wasn't much I could do. I was going to drive and get there when I got there. You know, I'm trying to be safe. and trying to get there one piece. Um, I checked Google Maps to see when I'd get there. So Google Maps said I'd get there at 927. Google Maps is usually never wrong, rarely ever wrong. Um, if I'm driving like on a road trip or something, I might get there like uh, 10 to 30 minutes ahead of time, depending on um, traffic and things that change and how fast I'm going. Um, but most of the time when it comes to going, getting to campus, it's not wrong because it's taking into account traffic and it's only so fast you can drive. It's only fast, it's, you can only go so quickly when there are a bunch of cars on the road. So it said 927 and I was like, okay, not great because usually there's a line when I get to campus to get into the parking deck in the first place. And I've gotten to campus early and been late because I was sitting in that line for like 15 minutes. It's just congested. And then there's also the fact that I have to get out I have to find a parking spot and then get out. And then I have to go this roundabout way because there's construction in the building right now. So the likelihood of me even getting to class on time, getting there at 927, getting into class at 930 is extremely low. I was like, okay, there's really nothing I can do at this point. Logically, it doesn't seem like I will get there on time. So all I can do is do my affirmations. And that's all I did. Kept saying my affirmations. So... I kept doing that. And I just like, I was just like, okay, let me say this. Whenever I start to work, started to worry, I'd say my affirmations always on time, always on time, always on time. So traffic started to clear and I was pretty close to campus. It was 916. I was like, okay, we're getting there. But I was still thinking about, okay, this has happened before. I've gotten here at 915 and I was even closer and still that line. I was like, no, always on time, always on time, always on time. You never know what's going to happen. Always on time. Every time I doubted, always on time. So... I pull up to the parking deck and I'm like, oh, I'm sure the line starts later over there. And I saw a truck. I was like, okay, this might be the line, but always on time. Once the light turned green, I was the only one parking at that point. The only person. And I believe it was 930 at this point. And I was like, or 929. I was like, wow. When I, mind you, this has never happened before. Never Never, even like the um, Monday that I went this week when it was like not much traffic. I think there was one or one or two other people in front of me. I have never gotten there except for this one time. And there's been no one there parking except for me. Pull up, swipe my card. My card is empty. I forgot to fill it when I left the house because I was in a hurry. And at first I was like, I was trying to pull up the payment. And I was like, you know what? It's taking too long. I asked her, can I just pay with a card? Like my debit card. She's like, sure. Gave her my card, went about my business. And at this point, it was like 9.31. I was like, okay. I'm technically late, but it's okay. 
we're gonna find a parking spot quickly. So I see a car go around looking for another spot. And as I'm driving, I see one spot where I never see free spots. And I'm like, oh, that spot's free. But I was like, no, I'm already driving by. Like, let me go. It's okay. Then I see that person drove past a spot on the far end of the parking lot. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna just go for that spot. Cool. You know, parking spots. And I'll talk another time about how to get parking spots easily because I've been doing this since I was pretty young. Um, and it's a bit of a trick. Once you get used to it, you don't even think about it anymore. Anyway, so then I drive around and I'm trying to go to that spot over there. And as I'm driving, I see a spot right in front of me. Nobody there to take it. That spot, I have never seen that spot clear ever. And I'm like, oh my God. When I tell you God has my back for real, the universe has me. I pull into that spot, hop out the car, and I'm like, oh my goodness. Damn, always on time for real, for real. So I get out, um, I park it out, lock the car, and I start making my way to my class. I decide to forego the elevator. I was like, hey, I'm in a hurry. Um, jogging down the steps. And I think at this point it's like 9, 932, 933. Get into the building. As soon as I walk into the building um, and I'm in front of the elevators, elevator arrives. I'm like, everything is just lining up for me lining up and usually when the elevator comes it's full or something or i have to wait for the next one nope got ordered in the elevator someone already pressed someone had already pressed my um floor the button for my floor and i was like okay cool got out of the elevator walk up to the class and i see people waiting outside i'm like huh weird so i look in the class lights are off and i'm like she's not even here yet so i stand there for a few minutes and i'm like oh my god wow but then i'm like okay let me make sure, because I don't recognize any of these people. I only went to the first class I missed last week. I was like, let me make sure that this is my class and that it's not moved somewhere else because then I'll feel dumb. So I open our school website, see an announcement from the teacher. Hi, class. Sorry for the delay, but class will start at 9.40 a.m. today. And she sent that message 11 minutes before. So as I'm over here doing my affirmations, rushing to get to school, she got stuck in traffic and lets us know, and it was 9.35 when I checked this message. At around 9.24, class is gonna start at 9.40. Always on time, guys. Like I'm telling you, you can think this is woo woo or whatever. Oh, well, I don't believe in these things, but what do you have to lose because that is just ridiculous. And if anyone here, if you are from Atlanta or anyone you know is from Atlanta and you drive, you know Atlanta traffic in the morning is ridiculous, crazy. Like there have been times where I left the house at 8.15, 8.10. I got to class at 9.50, 9.45. I was late as hell. Not only did traffic clear a little for me, but the teacher was late. Everything lined up and nobody was hurt. Nothing bad happened. She was just caught in traffic and I wasn't. The universe can do great things for you if you're intentional with what you're saying. Like, there is so much good that can be done in your life if you just take a little bit of control and stop just letting things happen to you, you know? And yes, things happen to all of us and I'm not sitting here saying that anything's your fault. But... There are some things that you can take control of. And I'm an honestly true, I'm a true, I'm honestly a true believer of that because I feel like going through life feeling powerless is not the way I want to live my life. And there's so many things I see happen to people or so many situations people are in, and I'm like, damn. I really feel like if you just maybe change a few things that you say in the day, who knows what could happen? Because I'm I'm speaking great things into everybody's lives this year. All right, so that's a fun story. Um, I'm going to go really quickly into, how much time do we have? Okay. We're only at, not even, basically 15 minutes now. Okay. So I'm going to go really quickly into my next story, which is about money. So money's a little more exciting. So um, it is 2021. And this was right after COVID had kind of calmed down a little bit. Um, this was almost exactly two years ago. And I had been fired from my job serving at Outback <laughs> for the second time. Um, and I wasn't fired because I did a bad job per se. And yes, it's easy to say, oh, I was doing just fine, whatever. But I'm going to be honest. And you guys will learn this as you know, get to know each other better. I'm an honest person. Like if I was doing a bad job somewhere, I will be honest about it. 
But I was doing a really great job. Like I was doing a pretty good job. I was doing my best. Um, I was one of the few people there that really was like experienced in that work. Um, but it was just a matter of when it comes to a lot of these kinds of like entry level jobs, especially like in the food industry, I've noticed there's a lot of favoritism. And um, even back then, I was not as friendly as I am now. And I'm not even saying I'm that friendly now. Um, so I guess I just they didn't like me. So they edged me out and they found a way to blame something on me. And it was just. Yeah. But that's that's besides the point. Just an explanation. <laughs> so I. Basically, just to say, I didn't really have much money um, and I was getting unemployment for COVID, uh, getting some COVID relief money. But my friend had a trip coming up for her birthday and um, I said I would go. I plan to go. She already booked the trip for her friend group and her friend um, that was outside the group. So it's going to be five of us. And I was like, OK, well, I want to come, but I think I only had like. $40 in my bank account, something like that. And I was like, I don't have the money to go. So I kept thinking, and this was like a couple of days before I kept thinking, okay, I'm going to do some Uber. Or I think it was a week before. I was doing Uber at the time, Uber Eats. I was like, okay, I'm going to do some Uber, go really hard for the next few days, make the money to go to, to go on this trip. And the trip, I think, would cost me about $600. Um, but, <sighs> bro, when I tell you I'm so great at procrastinating sometimes, I need to stop saying that. But I just kept sitting around. I didn't want to get out of the house. I wanted to sit around, play games, watch my videos, YouTube videos, whatever, vlogs, all that stuff, right? I did not leave the house. So that went on for several days. I think actually it was only about five days. And then um, comes the day before my friend's um, trip. Not the day before. I think it was three days before my friend's trip. It's been a little while, but it was a few days before my friend's trip. And I still only had like $40 in my bank account. And I was like, okay, I don't have the money to go. And I told my mom and my sister, I was like, okay, I don't think I'm going to go because I don't have the money to go. I'm sorry. And my sister's like, okay, you could have told me before. I'll give you the money for it. My mom, she collects, she likes to keep coins and change and stuff and like dollar bills. So she gave me hers and it came up to like, I think $200. And I was like, okay. So I only need 300. I'll go do some Uber. So I'll me some money and I'll pay her back when I get the chance. And I've been doing affirmations the whole day. I felt really stressed about it. But after they gave me that money, I was like, hey, I feel relaxed now. I'm okay. You know, I'm gonna let it go. So I kept trying to visualize the money and I kept thinking of one of the stories from um, the game of life and how to play it about how this woman manifested $3,000. And this is, I think in like the 19... Late 1800s, early 1900s. So $3,000 then was a lot more than it is now. But still, $3,000 is a good chunk, of, good chunk of money. And um, I was doing the affirmation she was doing. I think it was something like, um, I give thanks. I have this $3,000 under grace in perfect ways. Something like that. Um, and after they gave me those few hundred dollars, I felt relaxed. I was no longer tense or stressed about it. Um, and I was like, okay, whew, I can let it go. I can even still feel that relief now. So I went to bed and before I went to bed, I looked at my, uh, account balance and I think I'd done a little Uber that day. So I had like closer to a hundred dollars. Look at my account balance is around like $99 and put my phone down, closed my eyes. And I imagined I picked up my phone, looked, and it was like $3,000. That's what I imagined. So to preface what happens next, um, this was during tax season and I had submitted my taxes. I had fi filed as an independent for the first time um, and submitted my taxes. And usually I think it said it would take four weeks and I submitted my taxes three days before this. And I was like, okay, there's no way I'm getting my tax money. But you know, just an influx of money would be great, but it's fine. I have a plan now. I'm going to do Uber tomorrow, and then I'll have the money for my trip. Wake up the next morning. Imagine opening my phone and seeing the $3,000 in there. And then I open my eyes, pick up my phone. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do Uber, Uber today. Check the Uber map, whatever. Before I check the Uber map, I check my phone. I check my bank app. Open it up. I had $2,900 in my account. Or No. Two, I think it was $3,000 in my account because I had gotten $2,900 from my 
tax return. I've never heard of anybody getting a tax return that quickly, but I did. And I was just gobsmacked, flabbergasted. I was like, oh my freaking goodness. I go to tell my mom, I'm like, I have $3,000 in my bank account. She was like, ah. she always does this like scary whatever. She's like, wow, God is good. My goodness. And I explained like how I manifested it. Um, and there's definitely, you can trace it back and say, oh, well, you got this money because logically such and such happened. Um, you submitted this and whatever. Sure. But the likelihood of you getting your tax return, I never got a tax return that quickly. That's not normal for me. Okay. I have no one that I know has gotten that a tax return back that quickly, a refund that quickly. And I will say before I, you know, tell more stories in the future is as humans, we've been taught that, you know, you have to work hard to make money, even though a lot of people that work the hardest don't have much money and that, you know, you only believe the evidence, the physical evidence of what you can see. And a lot of times trusting in just the physical doesn't get you very far, but we still believe it because that's what we've told. That's what you've been told makes sense. So when you're giving something, even if it's like the most miraculous result, we can still demystify it and say, okay, it happened because this, 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 that, and physically, blah, 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 whatever. But as someone who's had some really amazing experiences in life that don't make logical sense unless you really rack your brain for an explanation, the more you relax into the idea that things can happen in amazing ways for you in life, the more miracles get placed in your path. And I'm not saying it's not always easy. I'm not saying it's always easy because I still have things I'm working on right now. Like I'm still trying to free myself from having to work for people because it's not something I enjoy. I'm still trying to free myself from having to work for people because it's not something I enjoy. I'm trying to establish myself as a writer and a content creator um, and do, do the things I love for a living during, in my life. And I'm not perfect, but I have some stories to share and it doesn't hurt, you know? Worst case scenario, you try it and nothing happens, but more likely than not, something will happen. So yeah, that's just my experience with that. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd get that out of the way before I go about doing my schoolwork, I'm trying to graduate next year. Well, I will graduate next year. It's just a matter of, you know, submitting assignments and lots of reading. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I definitely want to do another one where I like introduce myself more, a um, little bit more about me and my family and um, my interests. Um, and this should be fun, though. I think it's going to be fun. Um, yeah, exploring these different stories and um, talking about my different experiences. I have a lot to say, a lot of advice to give about like friendships, especially um, and also some writing tips and things like that. So it should be fun. I'm excited and I hope you guys are excited too. I hope you're excited. Whoever's watching, listening to this and I hope you have an amazing day. I'm wishing you, um, a day full of abundance of prosperity, uh, love, joy, laughs, laugh a lot. Laughing is one of the best things you can do with your time, um, and success. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Lots of love. Bye, have an amazing day or a night, wherever you are in your day. <laughs>